Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis for Common Sense Brandenburg Campaign. Let's hop back into it, shall we? Shall we? In the last episode, we declared war on Croatia, which brought an Austria and Austria fucking ally France in the middle of the war and called them in France. So now I'm dealing with these repercussions, repercussions, words, and I'm trying to, oh yeah, they're coming, definitely coming down here. Uh, come down here quicker, please. Okay. The king shall lead. And I don't think he's going to pussy out if I send in. Yeah. Okay, good. Just come, all armies. You are all invited. 80,000. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, we're, we're holding good. We are fucking Brandenburg. We are the same for tactics, but he the only thing, he has more morale, which really sucks. But uh, we should be fine on that front if I reinforce with much more troops. Flood troops into the battle and uh, win. Actually, we won a few battles here. Austria wants to come in here, though, and that's going to be a problem. So let's juggle our generals around. Uh, let's forge march you over here. Okay, we're going to win that battle without your help. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Uh, you can stop. We, I just need to not have them all in one province so that they can get some ticks back and it kind of sucks that I declare this war only expecting Austria to be involved okay yeah we're winning this nice we held them off with our Prussian might okay we have to we have to hunt down this Austrian army um, and you need to move away from the front just in case a uh, thing wants to come and attack us here I assume they're going to retreat to their capital, Wien? No, they're not. That's actually a bit surprising. That really is surprising, actually. Um, really thought they were going to go to Wien. Hmm. You're involved in this war? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here with your bullshit. Okay, France is coming again with their armies. Let's move up north. Come over. Tech. If I had a tech, so I'm not going to do that. Um, let's just meet up. Thuringia. Let's attack. They're going to come down with their armies. Not that large. Uh, Diplo. Just in case... Oh my god, they have, they have, they fucking, they just have morale. That's what's fucking me here. Uh, and also, I'm a fucking good king. Leading this battle. That's also why I'm fucking getting my shit kicked in. I really just want to reinforce this battle. Fuck, let me reinforce the battle. This is probably a horrible decision. Oh shit. A uh, but... My troops should have full morale, even though I should, well, I wasn't, able, I would have been able to stop that movement anyway. So I'm really not. These guys keep engaging my armies. Would you stop? It's annoying. Okay, you're not retreating that far back. This guy may actually be able to win this battle. This guy, I don't think so. So I'm gonna have him retreat to Hesse and then reinforce as quickly as possible. Forge march. Fuck. And he's fucking suck. He moved four two, so at least he's not going into fucking hell. And now I need to retreat all armies. So I just made huge fucking mistakes. Uh, don't stack wipe. Okay, yeah, I can retreat. Retreat anywhere, it's fine. Fuck. That was me being stupid. I really do sincerely apologize. Fuck. That was just a ton of blunders. But we still have the numbers in our favor. To be fair. Um, hmm. just need manpower to start recovering on these armies oh we're going to run out of manpower very soon but we can get that tech manpower is definitely going to suck in a bit what are we at war with by the way yeah we're at war with all of this we're doing pretty good though I wish I could call in Bohemia or fucking Sweden like this would fucking go 
fucking ages better. It ages apparently. Ages. It will go ages better. Uh, staff wipe. Okay, run. <laughs> that is the strategy. Just take small battles. Aim for stack wipes. Okay, this huge so messed up, but. Oh fuck! I didn't see his army right there. Okay. Okay, we can retreat. We killed more than we lost, so that's nice. We're not zero manpower. We need to reinforce forty-seven thousand troops. But France is also at zero manpower, so that's that's a plus. Uh, this full army, I'll give him a four-two. I'm gonna go attack Austria here. Oh shit, I wish I had an army that was close. Oh, nope, you have 70 some odd troops coming, so I'm not gonna deal with that. I mean, they could siege my stuff all they want to. The war goal is here, and uh, should get 100%. I mean, unless their occupation count towards not getting 100%, which would fucking absolutely suck. But I don't think it works that way, so we should be fine. I wish I could bait France into coming over here and attacking me. Okay, they're, they're coming, they're coming. By the way, what's this terrain? This is farmland, so I want to be like in the highlands or in mountains. Come, come, come closer. I fucking dare you. I fucking dare you. And we can build more mercenaries. Oh, oops. Game what? It's like, yeah, I should be able to build mercenaries. Why are you lying to me? <laughs> like, dude. Okay, where is he going to come and attack me? In one of these. I assuming, I'm assuming he's going to attack the war goal. Yes, he is. My king shall protect the line. You are now stuck, so you are now royally fucked. Hope you enjoy. I do not know why I have to make these voices, but I am. Because I'm awesome. And awesomeness is awesome. You're not going to reinforce this battle down here, bruh? Oh, fuck. He may catch me. He's definitely going to catch me. Uh, force march. This guy down south. Because I just don't... Less battles I lose, the better. I should retreat from this, but... Oh, okay. It's getting a bit iffy iffy there. That's why I was a bit scared. Or scared. Okay. And of course, we... It looked like it look, it's basically even actually. He lost a lot of cavalry. He has a lot of cavalry in his armies. Would be my guess why he lost a lot of cavalry. Uh, let's do that. Nope, let's do that. And let's convert more land. Heck, looks like I can convert land. Uh. Okay. We keep fighting about France. We're doing awesomely. Well, I say we're doing awesomely. I don't know if we're actually doing awesomely. And a lot of my armies have to heal up. I should consolidate, but I just don't like doing it. Um, uh, I think this army is too... Mm, it's not large enough. We send another army out here. Then we'll go engage. A lot of these armies need, like, manpower. <laughs> They just need manpower. You have 60,000 troops in Constantinople, so a war with you would be fucking horrible. I really want to get a battle done before France is able to bring their army back. Fuck you. You want to come over here? Oh, wow. He just walked completely past. Oh, well, fuck me. That was a stupid mistake. Guess I'm going to attack him in the hills. Oh, okay, we didn't get caught. I really want to catch this army. He's in... He's here. He's going to leave the 24th. None of these armies are going to get there in time, so... You're going to get there the first. Go, both of you. Okay, armies. Quick engagement. Uh... We want to spread out and concentrate at the same time, which is what I'm doing, which is very nice. The reason why I'm winning that battle. Now, I really just need these two to go deal with that Austrian army. 
We're going to take some attrition on the way, but don't mind. And Frat should be able to reinforce. No, you will not retreat. I'm sorry. And let's see if we can have one of these mercenary armies siege something. Okay, Austria, you've been told to break from your siege, motherfucker. And go up north. I'm really hoping at some point Spain declares a war on France. Like, that has to happen. Like, I'm kicking his ass. Like, I'm not, like, I truly, I'm hurting him hard, but... To be fair, Spain only has like 63,000 men and no map power, so it's probably not an option. Fuck. Let me move out east here. Uh, yes, raise war taxes. And we have to reinforce almost 90,000 men. The 15th, the 17th, this is hills. So I'm gonna love that terrain. Frederick, I need you to be led by the king. You still get the 16, so that's pretty nice. Send in the armies. Nice. I thought he was going to attack that. That's why I was uh, going to reinforce in uh, Leps Leipzig. Leipzig. Okay. I'm just making sure I keep this stuff siege. I could really be using almost all of my army, but I'm like using a fraction of it. In, in these battles up here, which is probably a bad idea, uh, but whatever, right? Uh, I probably don't want to get 43,000 troops right there, just readily available, so I really probably don't want to deal with that. You, he's close to wanting a piece, though. I have negative seven, that's because he's fucking got my stuff sieged, but I should get some of it back. Our guy died and we do not make enough for that so I can't hire a guy uh, I would like morale of armies I'm not gonna attack that even though that I got to you, you have to you just you just I got to because this could be a quick engagement and then I'll I haven't been looking at the army compositions either in these battles which is probably horrible like like look at this I have well no there's no cannons in the front row Oh, he coming with 53! What? Uh, we got to run at some point. Oh, fuck, that was... Nah, that was... Nope. He came with 100 and some odd what troops? Nope, thank you. Uh, let me move you out, too. Let's just move the troops. Just retreat. And now he's going to come down here, so these troops... So got to come down here as soon as possible. Because I assume that's where they're going to go. Um, even with my shit map heart, I still have a larger army than Rance. Very good thing to brag about. You. Nope, you don't have peace shooty yet. But I'm assuming a lot of people by now are like, yeah, this war sucks. <laughs> because they are realizing that I am an awesome country. And I'm also just fucking giving my fucking troops unnecessary attrition. By the way, can I build more mercenaries? Oh, yes, I can. I am the Prussian Empire. Oh, but... Do, 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 do. Three, five, that's the best I got against his, like... Three, four. That's the best I can see there. I can try to roll another general. Oh, let's go. Let's go. EU4 beyond my three-star general. Let's come through come through game i'm sorry that my voice literally just like broke up a bit there but come through come through i assume he's still gonna move in so nice i just need all these armies to come up here and defend against the uh the french menace because i assume he's gonna lock the first the first the third so we're gonna get reinforcements pretty quickly 99 versus 103 as you can see we almost have the entire army with and we have cavalry fighting cavalry but then we also have cavalry facing his infantry because yeah and then we have a lot of infantry in the center we actually don't have all the infantry in front i think this 
it's kind of you think it would make more sense to have these infantry regiments in the front to match his infantry and then have cavalry to flank because now he has cannons all the front his front row but i don't have cannons all the front across my front row that's probably because i don't have enough cannons but it should change as some of these come through yeah as you can see the cannons are starting to come in and they're starting to put the infantry in the correct place we do have two cavalry in the center here which is interesting but whatever and we are now destroying the french which is nice yes like uh, this is how i this is how it should be all the cannons in the back row attacking their entire front row doing awesome damage and uh, mostly cavalry not cavalry uh infantry in the front row cavalry flanking yes prussian military might we have 200 troops on our side in this one battle and of course that was a major battle we actually lost more than they did and that's because it took us a while to reinforce wait never mind I, wait let me do the numbers that would be 30, oh, 38 that would be like 42 that would bring us to like oh wow we lost no cannons that would bring us to like um 38 so they lost like 4,000 more than we did which is still we lost a ton of troops there so that's gonna be we have to reinforce 136,000 troops which is like holy crap it's because I've been careless with my battles and I've been just taking attrition which is shouldn't do that <laughs> like that's just a bad thing to do period um, especially when I'm in such a large war I mean like at first, I thought it was Croatia, so I'm really just, I'm fighting the war like it's just against Croatia, but it's really against Austria and France. So I have to be a bit more careful with my manpower and such, um, which sucks, but it's just how it is. So what is the French army at? They are at 120,000 troops. Yes, I like to see that the French have been able to beat the French down quite so much. And I've been able to hold my ground against uh, these odds, one can say. Uh, really, I'm really hoping to be able to piece out some of these people that are on medium. Saxony is on low, so they would want a white piece. Yes, they do. And Mainz is on medium. Have no diplomat to send. Hmm. Not close enough, but we can piece out Angebach. And uh, we can get, we can actually get something from the money, war reparation, force religion, break that shitty alliance with Austria. There you go. Okay, nice. And you are now Protestant. Hey! Okay. A plus one guy. Now just these guys are left. Really, the, the strong ones are left. Uh, who the fuck is this? France? Really? Cunt? Yeah, cunt? Okay, we should be getting very close to, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping that I don't have to get all my land sieged back to get 100% against Croatia. If that is what has to happen, well, then that's fucking... Oh, shit. Well, he caught my ass off guard pretty badly. And he may stack wipe that army. Um, let's see this. Yeah, I would not be surprised. Oh, never mind, reinforced. Safe, fine. And as you can see, I don't know why it has these random assortment. Well, it's probably because I don't have enough infantry fully, uh, fully reinforced. Because, like, as you can see, my first army there is a 2812 and i have zero men for infantry and zero men for cavalry and i only have 10,000 for cannon so it's probably why it's giving such this weird uh, composition here and since my regiment strength is not the strongest i'm also having a negative penalty but i do have mostly cannons in the back uh, doing work which is nice okay let me stop you from force marching would be nice Okay, we are ahead of tech. Yes, we are. You can get an idea. Or I can get an idea. Okay. 
Whoops. It's going really quick. You're already locked. Where are you going? Can you stop going places and annoying me? Like, please. Okay, you have stopped. I'm a 6-3. Take that out. Even though we have low morale, take it out. Uh, they have seen something. That's fine. Okay, stack wipe. Go siege it back. I mean, it should be coming back, yeah. It's coming back by itself. So I really don't have to sit here and siege that. Let me come to the east here. They keep landing troops, and it's like, France, stop. Oh, you want white piece now? Thoughts. It's probably because I've just been fucking wearing their ass down. They're actually, their military is weaker than Bohemia's Ming and the Ottomans, which is... That's thanks to me. I mean, like, I'm not... I mean, like, I may have... Like near 229,000 troops. 229,736 troops. But I have a lot of them that have to reinforce. I have 143,000 men I reinforce, should reinforce. Um, I can just consolidate, but I really don't like to consolidate because it feels like I'm wasting money to have to rebuild those regiments. I'd rather just wait for them to be reinforced. Anyway, let's peace out, friends. This may be a bit of a longer episode. <laughs> Because I would have to get the armies back in place and do all those type of things. But for now, France has been pieced out. Austria, do you really want to continue being in this war? I do not think you want to. Uh, just bad idea. Do you, you're not even anything to worry about now. You're like, what, your army size is 49,000 troops and my army is superior. So, so Superior is apparently a word. Uh, superior. I'm gonna fire the weakest guy, which is you. Uh, no leader, and you're fired. So I'm sorry. You do have awesome maneuver. I'll give you that. But other than that, it's like, what the fuck is you? Or who the fuck is you? Um, six four. Really? You want to go here? Let me see if we can get one last decisive victory. Okay, all the infantry is in the front. We have more cannons in the back. Nice. Can cannons not, uh... Can these cannons on the outside not attack that? That was weird. I don't know. Uh, I don't need the entire army to go, so just take you, move forward. Yeah, look how much I have to reinforce. Holy crap. Man. This war has been very, uh, straining on my, uh... On my, uh, which, what's the word I'm looking for? On my, uh, map power and on my resources. And on my nation, period. It sucks, but. It sucks, but what can you do? No, you're very close to wanting this piece, though, actually. Really, if a piece of Austria. Should be good. He's really nowhere near close. He's like, yes, I have high war enthusiasm, even though I can just sit here i really don't want to sit here and see just stuff but i can if necessary hey never mind we got 100 percent war score thank you game thank you base game holy fuck holy fuck there you go and i'm gonna have to improve relations with you oh no you really like me you already like me sorry okay i need to delete mercenaries because i don't want them because they're gonna cost money Okay, mercenaries. Uh, these are definitely mercenaries. And now I'm just gonna get the army back to where they're supposed to be, which is probably over here. Um, let me just put it along the Polish border, because why not, right? <sighs> okay, good. Now we just gotta get manpower back. Uh, whoops. Let them have heresy, and we got our mission. Very nice. We definitely. Oh, let's remove the Commonwealth from the, the uh, map. And now we should be integrating you much quicker. 1760. Nice. Uh, but now we have to reinforce 130k manpower. 
man, is that going to take forever? And I did all of that for three provinces, a three province vassal. Man, is my priority straight? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. To be fair, I did not know that war was going to happen. Or that was going to happen. That, like, freaking Austria was going to fucking just ally France and just be like, yep. And ally France. <laughs> like, what? The and call them in. Did not see that coming. Of course, I should always expect the fucking Austrian AI to ally France because that's what happens every single fucking times hand down like you think they would rival each other no ally each other all the time of course historically at times they were allies can't can't blame the game for that they were allies historically at times so can't blame the game for that but oh well so it's gonna take a while to at least get half of this manpower back uh, so this is going to be a bit of a longer episode. No, Bohemia, you know what you can do? You can shove that request up your ass and give me your trade power. See, Sweden's giving me their trade power because they're a nice nation. You can give me yours, Bohemia. Like, come on. Uh, can convert another province. Man, look at this land we have converted to Protestantism. We just have to take out uh, Puskov. Pus Puskov. I and it will be all Protestants. Like, a lot of the land is Protestant. Barely any is Reformed, too. Um, some Reformed over there, but other than that, not much. What happens with Bohemia? What? Well, he's like 15. That's never going to happen. <laughs> he's probably going to get an ear, like, immediately. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, I had to stretch there. Um... Man, the religion. You're at war with the Ottomans, really. The Ottomans are at war with the Knights, Hungary, and the Commonwealth. I really, okay, I was really hoping that the Ottomans would not be able to. The Ottomans could still take it, they just don't have a claim on it. I really don't want the Ottomans to take it, though. I really don't want to declare any wars until I have full manpower. Oh my gosh, that war was. War was a bit, a bit iffy, iffy, a bit sucky. It sucked a bit. But what can you do? Diplomatic insult from Frankfurt. Colonialism casts a from Corzon. Very, very nice. But, uh... With that, that's going to be the end of this episode of Europa Universalis for Common Sense. And I'm going to save it right here. Common Sense... Brandon Bird campaign. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next episode.